Within the last hour, investigators released new information about the man behind a mass shooting at a bank in Louisville this morning and the heroes who ran to save him. Save lives. In Tampa Bay, I'm Courtney Robinson. And I'm Josh Edwards. At this hour, families are mourning their loved ones. Four people are dead. At least nine others are hurt, including two officers, one who is now fighting for his life after running toward the gunfire. The accused gunman is also dead after a shootout with police. Now that man, investigators say, was a bank employee. CBS's Christian Benavidez explains what happened, what they're now looking into. Police descended on an old National Bank branch in downtown Louisville to find a gunman still firing shots. The suspect has been identified as Connor Sturgeon, white male, 23 years of age, who was employed at Old National Bank. His weapon of choice was a rifle. Officers exchanged gunfire with the suspect who died at the scene. Police named four victims who were killed inside. Tommy Elliott, 63 years of age. Jim Tut, 64 years of age. Josh Barrett, 40 years of age. And Juliana Farmer, 57. Today, I'm hurt. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir fought back tears as he addressed the latest mass shooting. We lost four children of God today one of whom was one of my closest friends. Caleb Goodlett's wife works inside the building. I got a call from my wife panicking that she was locked in the vault, that there was an active shooter in the building. She took shelter inside along with other terrified workers. They had a phone inside the vault. She was able to reach me. Uh, I haven't heard about her co-workers yet or anything, but I have talked to her and seen her. She's fine. Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg said his city has set up a family assistance center for anyone affected by Monday's event. Whether you were physically hurt or not, I know that you're hurting too. We are here for you. Authorities are asking the public for any information related to this latest shooting as they begin their investigation. Investigators say the Louisville police officer, who is now in critical condition, just graduated from the academy and was sworn in about 10 days ago. He just got out of brain surgery a few hours ago. He is stable at this hour. We're also told by investigators that he was the shooter was live streaming during the shooting. They do plan to look through that video to learn more about his plans. According to the Associated Press, this is the 15th mass shooting this year. They say that is the most during the first 100 days of a calendar year since 2009.